Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the interior architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to look at putting animations together in Adobe Premiere. So if you haven't used Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere is an editing software for editing images. You can edit still images with videos. You can mix still with video. And we're going to look at that specifically today, mixing still with video. All right, before we jump into today's tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube, find me, click on the subscribe, click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That's going to be a great milestone for me. There is something here for everyone. There's AI, there's rendering, there's modeling. So there's Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, Lumion, SketchUp, Revit, Rhino, Grasshopper. It's all here for you. So please click on subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso. My last name, Peluso. Alfonso underscore Peluso. Help me get to 10,000 followers. That's going to be another great milestone. Recently, I've been putting out a lot of videos some funny ones like we are architecture professors and some that are just helping architecture students uh, kind of get some information outside of what they're getting in school. So don't miss out on that. Follow me on Instagram. All right, let's take a look at this clip. So in the beginning of this clip, you're going to notice it happens really fast. There's going to be three images that show up. Boom, boom, boom. And then it goes to the slow animations. And the images that are uh, at the beginning are kind of like to stop the viewer. So a lot of this stuff goes on Instagram or um, TikTok or wherever you're sharing your videos. And even on YouTube, you want to just kind of stop that viewer from scrolling by giving them some, some eye candy up front. So three quick images and then some slow camera pass. Now, people's attention spans are not that long. Okay, so we're not making these long animations that are these long walkthroughs. These are short clips between two and four seconds a piece. This one has the initial three images, then it has two two-second clips, and then the last one is a four-second clip. So we'll look at putting all of this together in Adobe Premiere. All right, let's jump into it. So this is what it looks like when you open up Adobe Premiere. You just get this blank screen and in the upper left, it says new project. So we're gonna click on new project and it just brings us to a page where we can, we can name this. So I'm just gonna call this animation, animation basics. And then it's important to give it a folder because it's gonna make on a Premiere, Adobe Premiere folder with some temp files. And you want to be very specific on where you want to put that. So I'm going to make sure I put that where I want to put it and then just choose select folder. Okay, so you've given it a name and you've given it a place to save it. Now on your lower right, you're going to click create. So it'll actually start that file up for you, that project. Adobe Premiere calls it a project. So to start, this is what it looks like at the main project screen. So everything I have here should be pretty much default to what you have on your screen. So where I work is in this lower left and this lower right. So one is the project assets and on the right is the timeline. So left is the project assets and on the right is the timeline. So on the left for the project assets, I'm gonna use control I for import. So control I for import. And I think it's very important to bring in your videos first. Because I've had some idio, some idios. I've had some instances where my videos are a little bit different resolution than my pics, than my still images. And what I like about Adobe Premiere these days, and I've been using it for many, many years, I like now that it just kind of automatically sets the resolution 
based on what you import. So you don't have to set the resolution ahead of time. You just bring in the clip and it's going to make it that clip's resolution, meaning the pixels, the width and the height. So I'm going to start with the video. So my suggestion is always start with the videos in case the pics are a different resolution. So I'm going to in I'm going to import all three of those videos. And they look like this. They have this icon in the import window here. And they look a little bit different than other video you may have brought in because this has sound, but there's really no sound. It has a sound track, but there's no sound in the track. And we can take a look at getting rid of that. So I'm just going to start by dragging video one. I'm not dragging all three of them because I'm very specific about the order. And if I drag all three of them, it won't place them in the right order. So I dragged video one, then I'm gonna drag video two. I'm gonna keep it just right next to it. And then I'm using my mouse button, my, my middle mouse wheel, and I'm wheeling it in and out. It's moving it left to right. And I'm gonna bring in video three. Okay, so if I wanna get rid of that audio, which you can see it has no, no wave, sound wave effect, so it's, it's just dead sound. If I wanna select that, I can hold down my Alt key and click on it and press delete. Hold down my Alt key and click on it and press delete. So if I don't hold my Alt key, it selects both the video track and the soundtrack. So just the Alt key will just select the sound individually. So I'll press delete. So there I have all three of those. And I'm gonna use this little zoom here to kind of zoom in and out. And I'm gonna move these over a little bit because my picks are gonna go in front. So just to take a look at this, video one is two seconds, video two is two seconds, and video three is four seconds. So you can see that shown here uh, in the length. So let's go back to the import, and we'll do control I, and we're gonna import all three of these pictures. And it keeps them selected. Now what I'm gonna do is change the duration. You don't change the duration typically on video footage that you bring in, but on your pics, you can change the duration of how long they're going to be. And I just want these really short, just flash on the screen, just to get somebody's attention. So I'm right-clicking on these, and I'm going to Speed Duration. And I'm going to change these to the semicolon 05. Okay, so really short, and you'll see these when I drop them out. So I'm not going to drop them all onto the canvas. I'm going to drop them one at a time, and you can see how short those are in relationship to the videos. Now I can just make a crossing and select all the videos and pull those forward. And then we're gonna click on the play. You see it just kind of goes through. So this is just setting up like a very basic animation. No, we haven't looked at any effects or anything like that. Just some pics that uh, show up in the beginning and then we have some animation. Now you'll notice that this animation and these pictures it has a timestamp in the lower left because they're coming from Lumion. So I can get rid of that timestamp pretty easily in Adobe Premiere. It makes that really easy. If I go up to my main menu and I go to Sequence, I can go to Sequence Settings. And here's my frame size that came in from my video, 1280 by 720. Well, I'm going to change the vertical height. I'm gonna, I think from my experience at 600 pixels, will get rid of that Lumion sign, that Lumion watermark, I should call it. And it says changes to my preview files cannot be undone. That's okay, I'm gonna click okay. And now my Lumion stamp is gone. So the, the watermark is gone in all the images and in the animation. So the last thing you need to do is know the shortcut control M. So we have vid one here, the timeline is highlighted, okay? The timeline is highlighted. So with the timeline highlighted, I use Control M, and that's going to bring up my export sequence um, screen. So a couple things you want to know here is you want to name it, okay? So we're going to just give it a name, very generic name in this case, and also tell it where to place it, okay? Make sure you know where it's going, and it's going to save it as an MP4 by default, which is standard. Okay, and I'm going to click on save here. So now it's just a matter of hitting the export button. And it can animate something like this or export something like this pretty quickly, okay, because it's less than a 10-second uh, video.
Okay, and then that exports out, and then it looks wonderful like this when it's done. All right, that's all I wanted to cover. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a like and let me know in the comments. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. If you haven't subscribed, please click on it. And I'm going to put two more reference videos in the upper right and the lower right. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.